Hi everyone, it's Sean Robinson here, and I'm here to show you how to take either an audio file or a video file that is too big just to add on to your Edublogs account and put that on an Edublogs post without having to use anything like Vimeo or YouTube. Here I am, and I have two files, both a video file, that's an MP4 file, and then an audio file, that's an M4A file. I want to get these onto my blog, but I know that taking up either 3 megs or even 848 megs, it's going to take way too much space for my small Edublogs account. The way we can do this is through using Sway. So I'm going to flip over to my browser, and here I am in my Microsoft Office page, and I want to start a Sway. So when I log into my Office 365 account, I have some tiles here that I can use, but the S is SharePoint, not Sway. What I want to do is hit All Apps and find my Sway app. Click on that. Now, I'm going to start a new blank sway, and I'll hit that. And I'm going to put the title of my sway here. I'm just going to use the title test. And what we need to do is to add a, a section. We insert content right here, and we can have all sorts of different pieces of content, whether it's an image file, whether we're adding text, I'm going to add some media. I click media and I have several options. I want to put on some audio, so I'm going to insert an audio card. And right here I can put the caption for the audio. Here is my audio file. And what I need to do is insert the audio file here. There's a couple ways I can do it. I can simply click on the file, uh, audio file at addition tile there, and then hit my test audio, click open, and then just watch it as it is being uploaded. It is all ready to go there. We can do the same thing with video. Now, I know that it's going to take a little bit longer for video to attach, so I won't put that on this video. But if I was adding some video, I'd simply do the same thing. I'd add the plus, I'd go to media, I'd click on video, and then I'd drag a video there or click on the tile and then find that particular video. If something isn't getting set up here, I can always go over here and see what's going on. Now, on this side of things, if it's content that I'm looking for, I'm going to click on my device. So it's suggested here and then click on my device. That will take me to an explorer screen. Then I can add my test video there. I'm going to entitle it. I might add some pictures just to demonstrate what the content is all about. But we're not done yet because we still need to add this to our EduBlock. So we've got the audio file here in Sway, and we're going to embed this. The way we do that is we come up here, click the Share button, and this is quite important. We have to click anyone with a link. That makes it so that there's no need for signing in or anything like that when we embed this on our EduBlock. We grab the embed code right over here and copy that to the clipboard. Now, once that's copied, we're ready to move over to our EduBlog. So I'm going to open that up. I'm going to open a new page and find my EduBlog account. I'm going to log in there. And I'm going to get to my dashboard to open up a new page, uh, actually a new post. So I'm opening up my post here. I'm going to click Add New. I can also click up here, New Post. And here I'm testing 
audio files. I click into the main section of my post and then I need to add media. So I'm going to hit here, add media. I probably want to describe what I'm adding, but just for the sake of time, I'm going to add media. Insert embed code. I'm going to hit paste, so control V, and that pastes the embed code there, and then I'm going to click insert into post. Now, I've got my title here. I've got my audio file. The audio file will play. I can click publish when I'm all done. We can't forget to add the tags that we need to and make sure that we put our assignment in the right category as well. And then uh, we just hit publish. And it's that easy. It's not taking up any room on your EduBlog account. And uh, it's uh, pretty slick. So I hope that helps anybody that's trying to add either audio or even video onto their EduBlog. Thanks so much for listening. Yeah.